everyone, it is me, Pandora, and we're going to be doing a new game, it's called, let's see, My Story, and it's like the choice games and stuff, so we're going to be playing this game, I don't know what book it is, but I have to create my character, let's see, hairstyle. Basic, premium, mm, we'll keep with this. Hairstyle chosen, no, outfit. Basic, premium, 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 basic. I like this, pink dress. Save the look. Yes. Chapter 1, Mark and I. Dear Mona, Let me tell you how all of this started. I met Mark Stanton when I was just two years old. And growing up, boy, did I hate him. He was always chasing me with frogs and pushing me in the mud. Pulling my braids and calling me name, calling me, name calling me. It wasn't like I could get away from him either. Not only were we next door neighbors... But my mom was best friends with his dad. As we got older, things started to change. As the months turned into years, we became friends. He started defending me when other boys called me names. And instead of pulling my hair, he'd tuck it behind my ear. We'd talk for hours down by the lake. I'd help him with his homework and he'd teach me how to fish. And when we were focused, forced to go home, we'd sit by our windows and continue our conversations. We were inseparable. I don't know when it happened, but friendship slowly morphed into love. At least it did for me. I fell so hard for Mark Stan Stanton. I was just af too afraid to tell him. Until one day. Can you believe? Tomorrow's our first day of high school. Mm, hello. I feel so old. I know what you mean. It seems like it was just yesterday we were stealing apples from old Gray's, Grady's farm. Do you remember that? How could I forget? Or when we were in fourth grade and you stole Miss Bernstein's dentures and brought them in for show and tell? I was grounded for weeks. Man, we had good memories together, don't we? We do. It's just, choose carefully. Your choices, uh, dismiss. S say something, say what's wrong or change the subject. I would say what's wrong. What if things change between us now? What if we don't have any classes together? Or the same lunch shift? Hey now, don't think like that. You and I are going to be just fine. Anyways, how's your mom dealing? She must be so emotional. You know her too well. This morning, I caught her crying over baby pictures of me. Well, her little girl has grown up. And now you're... Now I'm um, what? Um, nothing. Hey, I think you got a text. 
Ugh, it's Brent again. He just won't stop texting me. Brent? Why the heck? I ain't saying that. Is he texting you? He wants to go on a date now that we're in high school. Everyone knows that was my mom's rule. You can't go out with him. I don't want to go out with him. But why couldn't... Why, but why can't, couldn't I if I wanted to? Because. Please admit the truth. Tell me you love me like I love you. Because Brent is an idiot, that's why. And that's the only reason? Yes, what other reason would there be? It has to be me. It's now or never. Blurt it out or ease into it. I would ease into it. Mark, I have something to tell you. It may be hard to hear, but I can't hold it inside anymore, any longer. You see, I don't know what and it happened when we were five, six, seven, eight. But somewhere along the way, I, I fell in love with you. You what? I'm sorry. I just, I can't keep it in a moment longer. I, I'm sorry if you don't feel the same way. I just couldn't start high school without telling you. If you don't feel the same, can we still be best friends? I have no idea what I'd do without you. I feel like my heart is going to explode. Hot dang, I wanted to be the one to say it first. You did? I love you so much. I have for so long. You're beautiful, funny, smart. You're the only girl I ever wanted. Now my heart is going to explode. Can we make it official? Right now? Heck yeah, right now. Miss Ray, would you be my girlfriend? Of course I will, Master... Mr. Stunton. Woohoo! Did this really just happen? It sure did. Man, I was so nervous to tell you. Never be nervous to tell me anything. It's just me. You're right. It's just us. I want to kiss you so bad right now, but I want to make it special. But it's already past your curfew. We better get you home. I'll never, I've never been kissed before. Tomorrow after school, we'll meet here. But first, I'll meet you outside your house in the morning. We can walk to school together. Sounds good? Sounds great. Seven sharp? Seven sharp. The next morning. Holy crap, I can't even believe what actually happened. I feel like yesterday we were nothing but two kids running around the neighborhood. Come to think of it, I probably have my old diary laying around here somewhere. Should I try to dig it up? Right there. There it is. This diary sure brings back memories. Aw, I almost forgot about the big, this BFF sticker I got from Mark when we were little. But I have other things to worry about. What the heck am I going to, should I wear today? I want to look beautiful on my first day as Mark's girlfriend. I need to wear something really special. Premium, basic, premium, 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 premium. <laughs> Let's see. They're all 10. Except for that one. That one's 15. Mm, get this one. It goes 15 on my coins. Perfect. 
Oops, I need to meet Mark in 10 minutes. I better hurry. Oh, just look at my baby. You are growing into such a beauty. Thanks, Mom. Are you ready for your big day? It's my first day of high school and Mom wants to know how I feel. I'm nervous or totally ready. I'd be nervous. I don't know. My stomach is filled with butterflies. I'm a little nervous. Oh, sweetie, that's okay. High school is a great deal, but you're going to do great. Are you walking alone? I'm meeting Mark outside, and we're going to walk together. Oh, you two are just the cutest. I'll come with you so I can get a picture. Mom, no way. There's no time. All right, all right. I'll see you after school. See you. Where could he be? He's always on time. It's unusual for Mark to be late. Should I ring the doorbell? Uh, check if he's home. I definitely need to check if he's still sleeping. He's not answering. I better leave without him. Where is Mark? I could really use a friend right now. All these upperclassmen seem so old. Hey. Oh, did I step on your shoe? I'm sorry. I wasn't watching where I was going. It's my first day and I'm a little lost. Don't worry about it. It's my first day too. It's kind of scary, isn't it? I was just thinking the same thing. Cool bracelet, by the way. Is that an apple? Sure is. My boyfriend Mark gave it to me a year ago. Well, he must be a very sweet guy. New girl said Mark must be a cool guy. What should I say? He's the sweetest or not today? I'd say he's the sweetest. He's the sweetest. And he's really thoughtful. Wow, you're lucky. I heard guys like these are so hard to come by in high school. I am lucky. Thanks. So what's your name? I'm Blair. We'll name her Pandora. Because that's me. Pandora. Ask her where she's from or about her summer. Where she's from. I haven't seen you around. Did you live in Montville? Moved here at the beginning of the summer. My dad got a new job. Well, welcome to the neighborhood. It's a small town, but you'll like it here. I hope so. Do you want to sit with me and have lunch together? I was supposed to sit with Mark, but you know what? Sure, let's have lunch. After lunch. I'm so glad you're in this class too. Right? It's so nice to know someone. Whoa, is that Sean Flint? Who's Sean Flint? I heard some girls talking about him in the gym today. Apparently he's the most popular senior in school. He sure is dreamy. Well, it seems you're not the only one who thinks so. 
That girl is all over him. Bad boy. Hard pretending to be a bad boy. That's Domini. Head cheerleader and Sean's biggest fan. Supposedly she's been after him for years. But he's never agreed to go out with her. And how do you know so much about Sean Flint? <laughs> That's nothing, girl. I've heard a lot of crazy things about him. Should I ask Blair what she's heard about Sean? Who cares? Ugh. He doesn't seem that exciting. Just another arrogant guy, I'm sure. And don't look, but I think that girl Domini is glaring at us. Yikes. She must have caught us checking Sean out. That's a warning to back off if I've ever seen one. Well, she has nothing to worry about. Sean is definitely not my type. Oh my god, oh my god. He's looking this way. Act normal. Act natural. Wow. Those are the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Are you talking to me? I sure am. What's your name? Pandora. Well, Pandora, thank you for brightening up my day. Your eyes are like the stars and your hair smells like smells of the ocean. Whoa, did that just happen? That cheesy pickup line? It sure did. Now come on. Our class is about to start. Mark never showed up at school. I guess some of this is voiced. <laughs> but it can't be. Where's all their stuff? Where's their car? Where's Mr. and Mrs. Stanson? Where's Mark? Oh, poor baby. I'm so sorry, baby. They must have left in the middle of the night. I, I don't know why. Left? I don't understand it. How could he be gone? He didn't even tell me anything. He didn't say goodbye. I'm sorry, Pandora. He's, he's gone, baby. Gone? Your neighbor? Your best friend? Your first love? Gone? However, your life is far from over. We'll do another chapter. Yeah. Sorry, there's ads. Chapter 2, Gone Mark never came back that day. He didn't come back for days, weeks, years. I was utter devastated. I was utterly devastated. 
completely heartbroken, confused, and sad. I was incredibly sad. I mourned the loss of a boy I grew up with. I missed a boy who had become my best friend. And I missed a young man who told me he wanted to be my boyfriend. No one in town knew what happened had happened to him. Some folks saw moving trucks, but he was gone. He disappeared without a trace. After that, I fell into a deep depression. My first three years of high school went by in a blur. I threw myself into my studies. I would have probably been completely alone if not for my two best friends. Blair and Max. Pandora! There you are. We've been calling you. Sorry. I've been uh, busy reading the coursework. You're reading that coursework 50 times already. Senior year doesn't start for another three days. You're going out to celebrate the death of our summer. No thanks. I'm really tired. Oh no you don't. We're not talking, taking no for an answer. This year is going to be different, Pandora. We're 18 and now we rule the school. You need to get out of this funk. Seriously. Who cares about whatever his name is? At this point, I doubt he even exists. Defend Mark or agree with her? I would agree with her. I wonder that all the time. Did I just dream of him? Can I really be that crazy? No, you're not crazy. But you need to get over him. It's been three years. I know. I just, I just don't know how. Well, you can start by going to this party with us. Everyone in our class will be there. We have to end this summer with a bang. Seriously. And you need to talk to some of the guys in our class. Particularly everyone has a crush on Practically everyone has a crush on you. No, they don't, or that's not my fault. No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. Beautiful, smart, unapproachable. You've got the Trafik girl. I wish the boys would pawn for me that way. He's gay. <laughs> I figured. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm the right one will once the right one will want once he comes along. Yep, that's why we need to party. To meet new guys. Listen, it's gonna be fun. Let's start this year off right. What do you say? Fine. But I have to be home by midnight. Whatever, Cinderella. Now, what the heck are you going to wear? And no fooling around, girl. Just to impress. Max and I want to make a big entrance. Are you with us? Hmm, let's see. Premium. Basic. Premium. Premium, premium, premium. I only have 11, so I'll probably pick. I like this one on her. I'm out of diamonds. Now that is what I'm talking about. You look like a million bucks, Pandora. Thanks, I feel like it too. Ready to get your party on? I'm, I'm ready. Even I didn't share Blair's excitement. That night's party turned out to be eventful. In more ways than one.
What am I doing here? And where did Blair and Mark go? Ugh, they're probably off oh, away from me. They're probably better off away from me. The last thing I want to do is bring them t into my pity party. Well, isn't it Pandora? Haven't changed much over these years, have you? Oh, great. The person who made my freshman year miserable. Domini. I'm not in the mood. What are you doing at a high school party anyway? Didn't you graduate like three years ago? Oh, someone has grown claws. But if you must know, I'm here with my man. Dating high schoolers? That's a little embarrassing. Exactly. I have you know, I'm here with Sean Flint. We've been hooking up all summer. He can't keep his hands off me. T that's not what I heard. What the hecker is that supposed to mean? <laughs> My mom works at the... Preclint? Pre Precinct. So I heard that you were brought in for shoplifting. Pretty sure you spent the summer behind bars. You shut your mouth. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. As long as you leave me the heck alone. I'm not... I'm not some silly freshman you can push around anymore. If you tell anyone about that, Pandora, you're going to regret it. I'll never understand why she always has to ha has such a problem with me. And just when I thought I was rid of her for good, well, no wonder Domini showed up. This party really drew in a big crowd. Wait a minute. That girl looks familiar. Pandora? My goodness, is it you? I knew it. Oh my god. It's Mark's cousin. Tanya? What are, what are you doing here? I started dating one of the guys in your class. So I came down to visit him for the weekend. Man, I haven't seen you in years. How have you been? I've been... Tell the truth. Uh, I'm not okay. You know, just trying to get through high school. Yeah, I guess it can be tough. Yeah. Ah. Pandora, are you okay? Tanya, to be honest, no, I'm not okay. Have you heard from Mark at all? My cousin Mark? Of course I have. He lives in the next town over, a few houses down from me. Didn't you know that? No, he... I haven't heard a word from him in three years. Oh, um, what is it? Well, I did bring you up once. You guys were so close after all. He said a few things and then cut the conversation. He said he never wanted to talk about you again. I figured you got into a fight or something. No, we didn't. He... When he moved, he never said goodbye. I didn't understand it. I still don't. And it's really eating me up. Wow. I'm sorry, Pandora. That's really weird. I wonder what Mark said to her. Should I ask about it? I ain't got the diamonds. Weird and disappointing. To be honest, I always thought you'd end up together one day. Yeah, well, that's never going to happen. If you'll excuse me.
He's been living in the next town over this whole time. Why didn't he tell me? What did I do wrong? Why does this hurt so much after all this time? Since when do gorgeous women cry at parties? Not this jerk. Ask him to go away. If that is a pickup line, it doesn't work. Now, can you please leave me alone? No, I can do, pretty eyes. My mother always told me to never leave a girl in distress. Who are you, anyway? My name is Sean. I stopped by this party just to say hello to some old friends. Oh, you're Sean Flint. Uh, so you do know who I am. Duh, you were like the hottest senior back when I was a freshman. I think, I think I remember you. Well, I definitely remember you. We only met a few, for a few seconds. A few years ago, but those eyes have crossed my mind a time or two. That's probably what you tell every girl you see. Maybe back in my day, yeah. But too busy at my shop these days to worry about women. Your shop? Yeah, I opened a small motorcycle shop on the outskirts of town. You like to ride? Definitely not. Motorcycles are dangerous. <laughs> Maybe. But danger is fun every now and then. Well, not for everyone. Now, come on. Tell me why you're crying. Tell him or keep it to yourself. Mm. Mm, I'd keep it to myself. What would y'all choose? I'd rather not... It's private. Understandable. Well, whoever he is, he doesn't matter anymore. I didn't say it was a he. You didn't have to. Any guy that makes one teardrop from those eyes doesn't deserve you. And I meant that, Pandora. How do you know my name? I have my ways. Now, what do you say to a drink? Loosen up those nerves? Well, I probably shouldn't. And why is that? Ain't you here with Domini? Oh, no. I'm here with... I'm not here with anyone. Oh? I'm here... I never had anything to, thing going on with her. She's not really my type. <laughs> Can't blame you there. You're not a fan? No. She's always been mean to me. She made my freshman year hell. Hmm. Maybe it's because when I saw you around, I couldn't take my eyes off you. Oh my god. So how about that drink? You know what? Forget Mark. He's completely forgotten you. And forget Domini. Have fun and try to move on. Sure. Let's get a drink. Ugh. I feel like summer flew by. Now we're going to be swamped with homework. Yeah. Like, look on the bright side. We're seniors. This year is going to be a blast. Look, Pan even Pandora's smiling. I'm exactly looking forward to this year. I am so happy to hear you say that. You've been totally different since that party. Happy looks good on you. Well, I would also be happy if I spent, got to spend more time with Sean Flint. Come on, he's not the reason. Don't give me that. You guys were inseparable at the party. Everyone was talking about it. 
we had a good time and we s went our separate ways. He didn't even ask for my number. It was just a fresh refreshment to hang out with the cute guy, I guess. Cute? Try smoking hot. Seriously. What man is beyond fine? Alright, alright. Let's get to class before we're late. After school. Studying at your house? Sounds good to me. Let's walk. It's really nice out. That's my girl. Your girl. Your girl? <laughs> you all done here? I wanted to take you by the shop and show you what I'm working on. I've got something amazing there. What is it? It's a surprise. But I know that for a fact you're going to love it. Do you? You're a confident one. Is that a bad thing? No. Ah. Uh, are you kidding? Go with him. Um, okay. Sweet. I brought you a helmet. So you have nothing to worry about. We're going on your bike? Of course. I'll take you back in your car. Don't worry. She don't look too happy. Come on. You coming, pretty eyes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Show me what you got, Sean Flint. The bad boy. That will be our next chapter. But if you do like me doing this, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, hit that like button, and share with your friends. And I'll be posting this every day. Uh, probably after my other videos, then I'll set this one free at night. Because it's like 8 something, so I'll probably be posting around 8 or 9 o'clock with this story. But I hope to see y'all in the next video love you guys so much bye